The initial incident arose as a result of likely a barge hitting one of the towers, a 500 kilovolt tower in the river. And we became aware of that and we're on site uh, investigating that and uh, developing a repair strategy for that. And during that operation, we noticed uh, significant erosion in the vicinity of the 500 kilovolt tower. We set up monitoring and surveying on both the 500 kilovolt tower as well as the 230 kilovolt tower. We did see erosion, but there was no indication that the 230 kV tower was in jeopardy. Um, and actually half an hour before its collapse, uh, the survey data showed no movement in the tower footings at all. Uh, it then subsequently collapsed into the river. The immediate response was obviously make it uh, electrically safe, so the circuit breakers tripped. We then applied grounds to be extra sure there wasn't any induction or, uh, or subsequent uh, inadvertent energization. Uh, we then ascertained whether there was a risk of uh, other structures collapsing and uh, assess that. We installed guys on the immediate uh, towers that were stricken um, just to be sure that uh, they would not collapse and then uh, proceeded with essentially the salvage operation of uh, recovering the conductor that was on the ground or the other structures that had collapsed. Our primary trade involved in this type of work would be our power line technicians and they, of course, go through rigorous training and apprenticeship program to develop their skills. Having said that, we're also uh, involved in situations that uh, they don't see through normal course. So there's obvious, uh, you know, significant steps to make sure that we have safe work procedures. And uh, they, of course, are, are invaluable in, in developing those work procedures and sub subsequently affecting them. trying to do the rebuild in very confined space. We've got the river to the north and we have operating rail yard to the south. By using the helicopter we can actually reduce the disruption time that we have on the rail operation and also do the work very, very safely. We, over the past few days, have installed uh, a waste-to-waste -waste guying system to help support the structure and uh, so to start off that stringing operation we used a helicopter to fly the first line and then subsequently pull the guy wires uh, with that line to secure the towers. We're entering uh, what we describe as our regeneration phase and, and a large part of that is driven by aging infrastructure. I mean the, the collapse that we had on the river was not age related specifically but we are uh, focused on, on rebuilding the infrastructure and uh, it's, it's quite a challenge for us to do that. Our, our system is highly complex, uh, very, very integrated and we operate through some of the most difficult terrain in North America, which brings uh, lots of challenges. The construction industry and the contracting industry play a vital, vital role in how we're going to go forward to uh, uh, rejuvenate the, the, uh, the grid and to respond to both the infrastructure, aging infrastructure requirements and, and the growth requirements on the system.